what we know today as the Ten Commandments in the Hebrew text are actually properly translated as the Ten Terms, and they were written as a mirror to the wedding vows which they recited to their partners in a wedding ceremony. They represent a covenant, a marriage relationship between God and human mankind, where, whereas He promises to provide for us, to love us, to steer us towards the paths that are inevitably what's best for us. And then on our side of the altar, we promise to cherish and to honor Him and to have and to hold onto His truth for all the days of our lives, no matter what kind of adulterous affairs present themselves along this path of life. And so, for those of us that know Christ, we must fully grab a hold of this reality that we have made a decision to marry ourselves to Jesus in order to be with him in this life and beyond so that God does not even see us or our sins or our jacked upness, but he only sees Jesus because the two have become one. I am him, I am in Christ, and he is in me. But how ridiculous would it sound to my wife if I said, hey, here's the deal, uh, I vow to be faithful to you every Sunday, you know what I'm saying, maybe a couple days during the week, maybe in certain situations I'll be faithful to you. Uh, every holiday, I promise I'll be faithful to you. Other than that, I'm basically just going to do my thing. <laughs> she would be crushed if I were to tell her that because she would then know that I don't truly love her. I love myself. And she is just a pawn on a chessboard where I'm the king and she happens to serve my purposes best at this point in my life. In our marriage with Jesus, we need to fully understand that all the good deeds, all the church attendance, all the empty and selfish prayers cannot give us life. Only an intimate and sacrificial marriage to Jesus will save us from the judgment that we rightfully deserve.